You guys, this has been a crazy week in America. Let's find out what happened. More than 70 McDonald's restaurants in California this week began offering free coronavirus vaccines to the public. But don't bother trying to get it. The vaccine machine is broken. Oh. <laughs> While conceding the New York City mayoral race on Tuesday, candidate Andrew Yang said, quote, there was so much about New York City I did not know. <laughs> said the person he was talking to, this is Newark. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the big snapple. <laughs> <laughs> if I can make it here, I've made a thing. No, that's not how it goes. <laughs> According to- Newport. <laughs> Sorry. Newport, Newport. Newport. Oh, no. He doesn't know what he was running for. <laughs> According to new reports, the NYPD is expected to, ex to exceed its overtime budget for the year by over $160 million. Damn. If they keep that up, those police are going to defund themselves. Mm -hmm. According to the New York Times, a lab recently analyzed the tuna from several Subway tuna sandwiches and found that they contained absolutely no tuna at all. That's true. The news has created a scandal for... S no, that's not a scandal. Who was that? It was me, Mike Hannington. I represent Subway. This isn't a scandal. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? That didn't address anything. What about the tuna? What about it? Is it tuna? I don't know. Well, that's bad. You can't sell something called tuna and then not have it be tuna. That's a scandal. No, it's not. Then what is it? It's a thing that happened. Aren't you ashamed? Look, I work at Subway. It's a successful sandwich company with franchises all over the world. It makes billions of dollars every year. And guess what? Nobody likes it. Not one person. Most people are fine with it. They tolerate it but no one enjoys it. Is our food rotten? No. Is it good? No way. Is it tuna? Who cares? It doesn't matter. You know why? Because you're at Subway. If you find yourself in a situation where Subway is your only available option, you're still gonna get Subway. And if the sandwich artist says, we only have tuna, guess what? What? You're gonna get that tuna. Wow, you're very honest. That's why Subway hired me as their spokesperson. Apparently the last guy wasn't very honest and it caused a few problems. Ooh, right, that guy. Now that was a scandal. He told me. According to a recent report, some teenagers believe misinformation that the coronavirus vaccine will one day turn people into so-called zombies. It's the second dumbest thing teenagers believe in after pulling out. Bum -bum. <laughs> In honor of actress Meryl Streep's 72nd birthday this week, fans changed New York City's 72nd Street subway station sign to say 72nd Streep, which is cool and all, but she asked for cash. Mm. The Biden administration announced support for a bill that would close the gap between jail sentences for crack and powder cocaine offenses. Said people convicted of powder cocaine offenses. Oh my God, that's great. I mean, it sucks, but it's fair. Like, it's totally fair because if you think about it, there shouldn't be a difference at all. Woo! <laughs> And finally, the TV show Sesame Street recently introduced a new family that consists of two gay dads and their daughter. That story again, Bert and Ernie now have a daughter. And that was the monologue. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad. Yeah. But I'll tell you what I didn't enjoy, the latest news about climate change. President Biden was in Europe last week where he met with the leaders from the European Union to discuss. Wait, is that? It is. I'm on it. Terry, just... get me a chocolate. Look at Okay, now that's the neighborhood ice cream truck. It only comes around a few times a day and they have the best ice cream. So you really don't want to miss it. Now, fortunately, Tarek is super fast, so I'm sure he'll have no problem catching up to it. Oh, Tarek, did you get it? <sighs> oh, you didn't get it? <sighs> Was the truck gone when you got there? I saw the truck. He didn't see, he didn't see me. Oh, bummer. Yeah. I was really craving a cone. Well, so was I. Well, that's all right. We'll get it next time. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. President Biden was in Europe last week. And... Chocolate! Yeah. With sprinkles! Yeah. Thank you! 
Okay, look, I know this might seem like a lot, but this ice cream is good. It's like the best you've ever had. Like Ben and Jerry's without the B minus puns. It is that good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tarek! <sighs> you didn't get it. He saw me. He saw me running. But when I got close, he floored it. I'm sure it was just a misunderstanding. No! This was no accident. I could see his eyes in the rear view mirror. He saw me. He looked right through me. And he smiled. And then he took off. He wouldn't just drive away. He wants your money. You don't know what he wants. Oh, Derek. It's all right. We'll have another chance to get ice cream. I don't want ice cream anymore. Really? No, I want it so bad. I'm sorry. It's just, it just felt, it felt very personal. I'm sure it wasn't. You're right. And you know what? We can always just get some Oreos from the craft service table to satisfy our sweet tooth. <laughs> we don't need ice cream. We don't need ice cream. <laughs> okay, now maybe this isn't my proudest moment, but look at it from my perspective. That ice cream is incredible. Now, does this chase seem to be having a profound effect on the mental health of my friend Tarek? Perhaps. I don't have to answer to you. I don't have to answer to anyone. I mean, all I, Tarek, oh, you kind of got it. That man is the devil. You don't mean that. I do. Satan, Lucifer, Beelzebub, what have you. He is them and they are he. What happened? I ran as fast as I could. Faster than I've run before. But the truck, it didn't move. Even as I drew close, it stayed still, waiting. Croaking its siren song into the mist. I approached the window, and he was there, watching me with fire in his eyes and ice cream in his veins. He knew my wants, my desires, my failures, my foibles. He knew all, he saw all. I asked for two chocolate cones with sprinkles, and he pierced me with those eyes, those hideous eyes. And he said, we only have vanilla. No! Yes! But in that moment, I knew I had come too far. I could not turn away. I had to accept this Faustian bargain. No! Yes! But alas, I was punished for my weakness. How were you punished? Some guy in line accidentally bumped me and both the cones fell into the ground. No! Yes! Do you still want one? Yeah. Uh, me too. Thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, mm, mm. Oh. It's worth it. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Here you go. All right. <laughs> I had enough. I'm watching my figure get rounder. I have my own YouTube channel now. Yay! Be sure to subscribe for a lot of show clips and a lot of digital exclusives and a lot of this. <laughs>